Hello friends, I am Stramana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about Scala Trait Mixins. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So in the previous uh, videos we have seen working with the traits and abstract, class, abstract classes right? and basically the inheritance. So let's say there is a scenario where you need to uh, inherit from any class, abstract class and also traits all together in a, in a single class or multiple classes. But you need to have everything in a single class means uh, the concept is called as traits, scholar traits mixins. Okay? Um, so let's uh, discuss about this scenario with some example. So and this is the yesterday's class uh, that we discussed about traits, right? So similarly, let's create another class for this mixins. So I'm clicking on the package new and Scala class and trait mixins example. Okay, so let's say there is a class and you have one abstract class as well. Abstract class, um, some name, okay. Let's ta take fruit. Okay. Let's say we have an abstract method inside this abstract class and we have also a trait um, which says um, um, uh, types okay correct some something and in this in this uh, we will say get uh, types okay and now one object we need for having the main method let me define the main method so in this val t1 equal to new exam okay so this is the basic uh, structure of the class so now let's extend and while using the mixins it's very important to remember the order in which you are extending the abstract class or traits so let's say there is another class then first you need to extend that class first and then the traits similarly first you need to extend the uh, abstract class and then only you need to extend the trait okay so why it is erroring can you say that's because we have the abstract methods and th this needs to be implemented so now equal to fruits okay and similarly equal to let's say these are fruits okay so we have uh, this way and uh, with the types we have given and that's it right now so let's run this to see the output
okay I mean here we have not called any uh, function right so it is not printing so dot get name and t1 dot get types okay so now let me save it and let me run this code so if you see here it has printed both the uh, print ln statements from both these functions okay this is how uh, we'll uh, declare the mixins like first any either class for first preference is class then abstract class and then only we have to enter the traits okay so let's say you don't want to uh, what extend the trait uh, in this uh, class definition okay and is there a way to add the uh, uh, call the traits means extend the traits means here during the object instantiation also you can extend the trait this is also possible okay for trait okay so this is the second way like if you don't want to add extend the trait in the main class definition you can do it while instantiating the object so this will be like let's say if you are creating the another object for this class and in that class you don't want to use this uh, trait and you want only for this particular object you wanted to ha uh, in, in uh, extend the trait then you can use this method okay this is also actually same so let me run and show you the output it will both are same as of now okay so now let's say if you wanted to have another object t2 with only uh, 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 if you create another one then you cannot call this uh, method okay so this is how mixins works hope uh, this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you